Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today I'm breaking down an acoustic, beginner-friendly version of Hotel California. Um, this is gonna be perfect for your next open mic. But before I get there, I wanna send a friendly shout out to my good friends at Original Fuzz. Today I'm rocking one of your beautiful Peruvian guitar straps. Um, everybody, this is a really, really nice strap. Quality made, um, I definitely recommend it. Um, it's gonna last me years and years on the road and I feel like I can trust my life with this thing. So uh, OriginalFuzz.com, they have everything, uh, uh, guitar straps, both leather and felt, um, some really, really beautiful gig bag covers and cases, uh, and even patch cables. OriginalFuzz.com, small business that I'd love for you to support. Now, let's get started with our lesson. Okay, we have a close look at the neck, also my right hand. Just want you to keep in mind that we are changing the key of this tune to make it a little bit more beginner friendly and more manageable for a solo performer. But to put it back in the original key, you can easily put a capo here on the second fret and play the song in the key of B minor. But we're gonna take the capo off and do it right here in the key of A minor, where most of our voices are gonna be a little bit more comfortable. Okay, so it starts off with an A minor chord, two, three and four, then an E major chord. One, two, three and four. Then travels up to a G major. One, two, three and four and D major. Now it's there that I actually like to add in just one extra note to that D chord. I wrap my thumb around and grab this F sharp note here on the second fret of the low E string to kind of thicken that up, make it a little bit more momentous. So, so far we have the A minor. E major, which you can add your pinky to the third fret of the B to turn it into an E7. Then we have the G major chord. Sometimes I play around with just the first finger here on the first fret of the B to turn this into a G sus, G sus four. And then I have the D major chord, but I'll add my thumb to add some thickness. Next, we have an F major chord. I actually kind of enjoyed the sound of F major seven which is much, much more beginner friendly. Third finger on the third fret of the D string, middle finger down one string, back one fret, that's the second fret G, and the first finger here on the first fret of the B string. To thicken that up, you can actually add the pinky, replace the third finger with the pinky, and put the third finger on the third fret of the A string. That's real thick. From there, we just have an easy jump to C slash G. We're gonna take this middle finger, and the pinky and the third finger up one string. Now we've got this really beautiful, kind of rich, robust chord before heading into a D minor chord shape. And then back to the E major. Now one little trick I do over the D minor is I'll take it and just kind of cut it in half. I'll slide up so that way my middle finger is on the fifth fret of the G string and my third finger is on the sixth fret of the B string. Some people call this the Neil Young chord. Beautiful uh, voicing for D minor before jumping back into E or E dominant seven. Okay, let's review. We have A minor, one, two, three, and four, E. I'll add my seven. I got G. Let's put that first finger in, then the D. F, major seven. Jump up those fingers to the C slash G. D minor, drag. And then we have E major. Okay, so real quick, let's talk about the strumming pattern. Now, I have the A minor chord. All I'm doing is just kind of going down, down, up, down. Real slow. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. To my D slash F sharp. Down, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. I got my F major seven. Notice how I took some strums away that time just to make it a little bit more flowy. There's plenty of options here. You can add, subtract to uh, this basic pattern, then to the C. A D minor. On the up 
stroke, I like to slide. Same exact pattern. As I go through the entire chord progression. Okay, let's give the first verse a try real quick. On a dark desert highway Cool wind in my hair Warm smell of conitas Rising up through the air Up ahead in the distance I saw a shimmering light My head grew heavy and my sight grew dim I had to stop for the night All right, now, if you got that, we're ready to move on to the chorus. There's only two parts to this whole song. Okay, ready to start the chorus. We have the F major chord. Same thing that we had in the verse. There will be no new chords here, actually. So the F chord. Same pattern. Then the C major chord. A dynamic change to E or E7. And then A minor. Anybody who knows the song knows that there's a little bit of a climb there. So what I like to throw in is kind of my own version of that. It goes like this. Okay, so what I did there is I had the A, I struck the A string first before going into my pattern. So it was A down, up. Then my middle finger goes up to the B, which is the second fret of the A string. And the same thing, I struck the A string. Now I'm holding that second fret. And then I did a down and up stroke on my high treble strings. My pinky then goes up to the third fret, a C note, third fret of the A string. I do the same exact action with my right hand. Then I'm going to take my middle and pinky off and strike the D string open as I'm just holding down the remaining fingers. Okay, so there, my third finger is on the G string, second fret, and my first finger is on the first fret of the B string. So this is the remainder of that A minor chord. Plenty of room at the Hotel California. We go through the F and the C again, then we go to a D minor chord. Any time of year. You can find us here. All right, thanks everybody for checking out this guitar lesson. I hope that you'll successfully be able to add this into your set list. And uh, thanks again to the Class Acts over at Original Fuzz. I really appreciate all that you do, and it's my pleasure to introduce you to the community. Um, I got plenty more videos coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe. I'm Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.